Today we're going to do a lesson called The Man with the Crooked Legs. First you want to start by finding the middle of your paper. Is this the middle? Is this the middle? This is the middle. You want to start by drawing a circle about the size of a quarter in the middle of your paper. Now, this is the man. The man has a head. The man has a body. So we want to draw a line, not all the way down to the bottom of the paper, but about halfway down. So now the man has crooked legs. Crooked legs are not straight legs. They're not diagonal legs. They are curved crooked legs like this. So it's like the letter U. So there once was a man with crooked legs. Now he also has a leg on the other side, like so. He decided to take a walk in the woods and he noticed that there was a log in the middle of the path. So he jumped over the log. We're going to represent that by drawing the letter U as the log that he's jumping over. Now what the man didn't know is inside of the log, there was a hive of bees. And so out jumped the bees. So on either side of the man, the bees are represented by a simple dot. So I'm gonna put maybe one, two, three dots on each side. Those are the bees. Now the man, he did not like bees. So he started running and he noticed that there was a lake. So he decided to jump inside of the lake. We're going to represent the lake by a giant oval protecting and surrounding the man. Now he wanted to see if those bees were gone. So he popped his head out of the water and he looked to the right, he looked to the left, he didn't see any more bees, but he did see a little rock at the top of the lake, just like this. And we're gonna represent it by drawing an upside down letter U twice. Now beyond those two rocks, he saw two hills, and we're going to do almost like a copycat line to represent those two hills. Beyond those two hills, he saw a great big mountain. And we're going to represent that by drawing a big upside down letter U behind those hills. So now you should have rocks, hills, and mountains. Now. What he noticed was that from the top of the mountain, there was a beautiful waterfall. And so we're gonna take a wavy line and we're going to draw it down and do a copycat all the way back up. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing, a waterfall going all the way down and back up. Now, we just told the story of the man with the crooked legs, but as you can see, we've drawn a dog. Now we need to add to our dog. One of the first things I like to do is look at his eyes. He needs something. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a circle for each eye and fill it in. Now, if you wanna be silly, you can add a little line for the tongue so it really does look like a tongue. You can go and add a collar and maybe a name tag. You can also draw the shoulders of the dog, just like that. If you wanna do a dog waving, you can just draw the number 11 off to the side. Draw one, two, three, four little paws and draw some little squiggly shapes for his little pads for his paws, just like that. Now we've done the dog, we've done him waving. Now can you add a background? Is it a rainy day? Is it a sunny day? If it's a sunny day, you can maybe add a sun off to the side. If it's a cloudy day, maybe you could add a cloud by drawing a straight line and then some bumpy lines like this. If you wanna make the clouds look like they're going off in the distance, you just do a smaller cloud like this. Now maybe in the background, there are some hills. So I might do some bumps just like this going all the way across. And if you notice, I bumped into the dog, I jumped over him, I bumped into his paw, and I jumped over his paw. I can also draw straight lines, bumping and jumping, and now you have a background. Have fun, add more to your animal, and I'll see you next time.